Hi guys, I am Amrinder Singh and uh, today we are here to talk about one command line tool called AWX which is used to manage the resources for the AWX and AWX is a open source automation tool which is using Ansible at the background. So let's start with the session. So in today's session we will be covering what exactly the AWX command line tool is, how to do the installation, what is the basic configuration of it, how to you know get the command help if in case you know you have to perform some operation on it, then few usage commands and a demo about like how we will be you know doing it. So what is AWX CLI? So as suggest like AWX is just a command line tool which is used to manage you know AWX resources and you can perform multiple operation to the API of AWX related to delete, create, list, uh, launch any job template and all these operations will be performed on the resources. Resources like jobs, jobs, job templates, projects, uh, credentials, inventory, organization, teams, users. So all those resources uh, which can be you know used with the operations like delete, create, list can be done with this particular AWX tool. So installation is pretty simple I guess. Uh, it's pip install AWX git and if in case you wanted to look into the github repository of it it is also being provided in the link of the presentation and you can just simply do a git clone of that and you know check the source code of it. Moving forward uh, the basic configuration for AWX is uh, so whenever you have to perform some operation on AWX or any other application basically you have to authenticate yourself then only the application will be you know allowing you to perform the operations otherwise how it will be able to isolate like this particular person is authenticated as a valid person to do the correct and you know doing the correct operation on the systems in on the AWX. So hyphen hyphen con dot host is basically used for tower instance IP address or you can use the host name as well. Con dot token is something you can you know create you can authenticate to the tower and create a token which can be used to authenticate to the tower every time like you don't have to provide a username password every time it will just generate a token and you can just use it for any further operation you want to perform on the tower we will look into that in a minute when we'll be you know performing the practical uh, as the name suggests com dot username it will be just provide the username password and you will be able to authenticate authenticate to that tower now moving forward there are few environment variables you can define and you don't need to provide these variable commands to the AWX. So those tower uh, those tower host environment variables are tower underscore host, tower underscore username, tower underscore password. As the name suggests this is like providing the instance URL, username and password to authenticate to it. After that we have one tower auth token. So if in case you don't want to provide a username and password, you will can generate one auth2 token and use it with tower to authenticate to AWS application every time. If in case you wanted to, this data to be persistent, then just do the entry in the bash RC for persistent data. You can just provide these environment variables, define it over there and whenever you log in with that particular user this will be loaded in your system and you can use it. Regarding the command usage help, it is pretty simple. If you wanted to help with the AWS command, simply type AWS hyphen hyphen help. It will help you to isolate what kind of uh, resources you have on the AWS. Also, it will provide you if any, you know, the parameters for authentication or whenever you will be you know performing some tasks it will be giving you an output in a particular format so you can manipulate that as well like how you want to look that look at that particular output so 
let's you know do one thing let's talk about it and uh, do some practical work on it so looking at my current configuration so haven't done any you know anything on it so let's first of all you know start with the hyphen hyphen help option so as you can see I can uh, you know so this is the usage I had been provided how you can use it so just remember whenever you see that it is in under square braces that means it is optional you can provide that parameter and and even if you don't provide that parameter that is absolutely fine now let's look at the parameters that we just talked about hyphen hyphen conf dot host basically to provide the you know host name address then conf dot username then the next one is conf dot password so currently I uh, will be you know um, providing the password directly but it is not recommended to you know <laughs> do it openly in front of everyone as this is my test machine so uh, I'm absolutely fine with that so my system IP is 192.168.122.1 80 okay so yep I mean we just have to perform some operation as well so basically you can do a login and that can generate a token for you so the first one is to authenticate like if you just type awx login command you can see we are getting an error so that's why I had provided the uh, you know I had tell the command to operate this particular task on the AWX instance 192.168.122.10 and I had provided the username and password for it so as I do a login I just get this token so if now I will try to do one thing I will try to use my token this time so hyphen hyphen conf dot token is the parameter right you can see so let's try to use this token So ah, okay, so I will just list the jobs for the timing. So you can see we we don't have any job right now, so it is showing account as zero and null. But yeah, basically we are able to authenticate it now. So let's you know do one thing. Let's just export this data to the in, as an environment variable, and then let's start performing the task. So. So I'm just providing, you know, exporting these variables. Once I export this variable and I just check my AWS config, you can see my base URL has been changed and also a token is, token is provided. Now, if I do simple job list without providing anything, I'm able to run that task. Now, uh, there's one more thing that is important is, uh, let's do one thing, let's just look at the GUI first. So this is my AWS GUI. Currently there are no jobs, so that's why it's not listing anything. Let me just run the demo job for the time being at the background, so that we have anything, uh, something to show actually. We have demo credentials, projects. We have one demo project as well, inventories, demo inventory, and nothing else. There is only one host added, local host, organizations, users, teams, as seen nothing is there so we will try to create all the resources now and see how it goes so as I just ran one job so what I will do is uh, we will list it now you can see we s we see a lot of data so you don't need to worry about that now because this is nothing but the information on the API endpoint of the jobs so whatever the information that you will see over here is being shown over here now it, it becomes difficult for a you know he, um, you know humans to read so much data and analyze it right so if you wanted to do one thing so as I told you you can manipulate the output right so what you can do is you can use the hyphen app option to manipulate the formatting and show in the way how you wanted to look at it 
so what we will do is I will use hyphen f as human see in a very simple manner it had shown you like there is one ID of a job 8 and it is ran for the job template demo job template is the one which was run right so it becomes easy to you know cater that data understand it let's now you know look into the further help of it now oops sorry my bad if we do a hyphen hyphen help now authentication I guess we are clear now regarding the input formatting part as well we can just filter out data and uh, we can also manipulate how we wanted to look at that data so this will be used during that time optional arguments is like hyphen hyphen help you can just provide to AWX to you know get some help over here the important part that uh, you know we will be mostly using is for the positional arguments these positional arguments which are basically the resources on the AWX will help us to you know perform operations on it so for example we have organizations users projects teams credentials inventory right job templates so a lot of you know resources are there and we can use any one of them to perform operations AWS config I had uh, you know I guess we have seen it it just print the current configuration of uh, your tower and the login login just gives you and you know it retrieves you for the auto token which we have already done it so that's fine import and export are the two important features with which we will be talking about uh, you know in the last this what this basically does is it import resources from the tower from one tower instance and you can take that data and you know export that data to any other tower instance okay and we will see how it works basically so let's start with the organization so currently if we see we don't have any other organization right it's just a default one so let's try to create one organization now okay so as I said I don't know what to you know what to run right now so what I will do is I will just do AWX hyphen hyphen help now to get further help for a particular resources what you can do is you can just get that particular resource AWS organizations and again do a hyphen hyphen help Oops, okay so this will be the correct one right so AWS hyphen hyphen help and we can see what are the operations I can perform with hype organization resources and after you know you, let's suppose if I want to create it now like right so what I can do is I can create it now again I don't know what to do so what I will do is I will use help and now this time this help will be you know giving will be providing me information how to create an organizations for the with the AWX command so it will uh, this help will be more of to cater the options that we have provided rather than the AWX so this help we will not be getting for the AWX but for the parameters that we are providing to our resources will be provided with this help so as we do a help now the very first thing that you will see is usage as I said whatever you see in you know square braces are always an optional part if you wanted to use it that's good if you don't want to use it a default value will be you know provided to do it and currently the required parameter is only hyphen hyphen name but I, I will be also you know giving description as well this time but yeah even if you just provide hyphen hyphen name that is absolutely fine so if you do a name testing hyphen CLI I will be providing description as well testing or creation from the CLR as soon as I see you know click on list so uh, what I will do is I will also list it from here and then we will go and check on the GUI if it is being created or not and as I said if I will if I will be doing a list it will be showing me in a YAM, uh, in the JSON format okay so what I will do is I will convert it into the human format it's we have two organization with IDs one and two one is the default one and the second name is testing CLI let's look at the GUI so currently we have to refresh the page 
and we can see that we have you know created one organization called testing CLI let's create one user and then we will proceed with the advanced part like how to create job template projects and further so as I said you don't know anything simply go ahead and you know ask the command like what to do I want to use resources users so what to do with the users please tell me here you will be getting again a positional positional arguments that you can you know use with users and as the you know name suggests like list create get modify get basically you know grab just gather the information from the tower modify some information delete grant or revoke some permissions to it so this can be done so let's try to create one uh, user again the basics are still the same like we will be using a hyphen hyphen username text and hyphen hyphen password which is also over here is not in square braces so these are mandatory rest are optional argument if you wanted to give it feel free to give it if you don't want to give it that is also fine your resources can be created just on the basis of what we have you know in the required fields so let's say I'm creating a user Thor and what a Thor without a hammer so I will be giving a password as hammer see so the user is created now let's look at that so yep a normal user is created now look at the other options that we can use with uh, you know while creating a user so first name um, last name is as simple as that you just provide the names hyphen hyphen email email id which you can give like the user email id is super user and is super system is a system auditor so these are the operation uh, options which will be provided you as a boolean so it's the answer is always in true or false you can either provide true value to it or maybe you know you can just provide false value right by default it will be always false and if you wanted to provide as true you can give it and uh, you know create one user so let's uh, let's create one super user as well so what I will do is I'm providing one as true zero is false so Theo Theo Oops. Oh. I'm just creating one more user Theo with the same password and if I just refresh it we can see that the Theo is created, uh, created as a system administrator whereas the Thor is just a normal user see yep so that is working pretty much fine so far so moving forward let's look into what we have else now we have got you know command usage how we will be doing it now regarding you know um, like how you can actually create a project how to deploy one inventory how to add a host in the inventory how to use those in the job template we will be looking into that particular part now so let's you know do one thing let's start with the uh, pro we can start with the inventory basically yes inventory or project anything can be started according to the hierarchy so let's start with the project again I don't know anything so what I will do is I will just use projects hyphen hyphen help again I want to create one project again and in this there is small part that we have to do apart from you know just using the command so now you know we have one local path so whenever we define this it will by default think that it is a manual project and it will define the SEM type otherwise you can define the SEM type and you know provide the get SEM URL or you know branch specific a particular you know if you don't want to pull the master branch and some subversion of it you can pull that as well so multiple options can be you know provided to it and you can do the configuration according to your requirement for the projects so now let's uh, the default path for the you know projects is var lib awx projects now as we are creating a new one so what i will do is i will create a project called testing before that let's just look into that if we have any called project called testing so currently we don't have it so what I will do is I will be creating a project called testing then I will be creating one file in it 
let's say play dot yaml let's write some code I will be uh, writing a simple code to you know just play uh, do some output on the screen that's it Task. printing the output using a debug module for that and what just should be the message this is my awx command line all right this should be enough okay so let's you know create the project now as i said like hyphen hyphen help as you as you if you will be you know providing a local path then you can use it so let's you know organizations okay so i want you to see this output and i want you guys to remember this id which is associated to the testing cli the reason being is we will be using it because we will be assigning our project to this particular organization now testing cli and how we will be going to do it uh, let's look into it now as you know i had uh, i'm aware like what operations i can you know perform on it so you can either take a help from uh, hyphen hyphen help or you can form you can form your own commands according to that so i will be directly using it so as i said we have organization 2 right where we have to assign it so what i will do is i will just provide a awx project create name i uh, will just providing the name of the project and the local path is slash uh, testing i think this is something which is not correct the reason being is the correct path will be var lib awx slash testing right slash projects slash testing this is the correct part right and we are assigning it to the organization right if you run this command this will not run the reason being is it will always say that this path is already being used by another manual project so you can only have one manual project directory okay and if we see on the awx what exactly the current manual project is directory sources if we just do a manual so the this pr particular path is not editable so current is varlib awx projects definitely what if you wanted to change it then you know you can see that you have to change this project's root uh, directory on the system which is in yes which will be in the etc configuration file uh, you can go ahead and you know do the changes restart the tower and you will be able to see those changes i will be you know taking it to by default and if you wanted whatever the you know by default is if you wanted to use it you don't need to define anything on it the default uh, path will be always picked up whatever the directory you have after that whatever the hierarchy you have to uh, you have after that particular default path you have to just follow it so if i define the local path testing so yeah my project is created now let's just look at the project so my manual project is created and if we see okay so yeah varlib awx is the default path and the testing is the playbook directory we are you know we are going we are we are having our playbook which we will be running right so yep i'm just typing it cancel so that you know <laughs> you won't say that i have done some saving over there so your yep, manual project is created now again if you wanted to look at the human format as this output will be in the json uh, so what we will list hyphen f hyphen f is for filter human so my project id for this is 8 so my organization id is 2 and project id is 8 now let's try to create a inventory now so we have only demo inventory yet right so our procedure will always be same basics never you know uh, betray you so always stick to the basics 
so AWX inventory we are going to create it hyphen hyphen health and if you just see what are the required parameters name and organization so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create name as testing hyphen CLI my inventory name is testing hyphen CLI and regarding the organization I'm assigning it to the second organization that we have created this output again as in JSON format do a list of hyphen F human format and we have a demo inventory created let's see cool. now as the inventory has been created let's add one host and uh, add that to our particular inventory I know but yeah I'm directly typing the command this time but yeah you can use hyphen hyphen help option to do that so my look my node name is whatever it is if it is not localhost you can have XYZ whatever the host name of that system is name and then you can define inventory to it inventory ID I will be directly providing the inventory ID you can either do this or you can do testing hyphen CLI both will work absolutely fine mm, okay I think I did a spelling mistake so yes it is working fine uh, if we just go to this so currently we can see zero zero host zero groups zero sources we will refresh it and we can see one host is added over here let's look at the host so local host has been added right so yes this is how you you just add the host to the inventory you can just create one script and add as many hosts as you want now regarding the last part that is our AWX job underscore template how to create a job template and then you know run it again the basics are simple and same hyphen hyphen help as I want to create it I will take a help from create so there are multiple options that you will be getting over here okay again the required parameters are only these three but uh, let me show you first what all the parameters are so if you try to create add job template on the GUI you see you just have to provide name inventory project playbook and job type job type can be can be run and check okay so by default uh, it will be picking run so yep rest of the you know parameters we don't provide the default parameter uh, values are already defined over here timeout zero job slicing one verbosity is zero if you wanted to increase it skip tags instance group if you want to you know run it on some specific instance you can select it and you can define it on the command line as well so let's just create one job template so I will be you know creating it right so if so first thing is defining the name for the job template testing hyphen CLI hyphen hyphen I will try to you know <laughs> speak less so that you know I don't do mistakes so we will be providing the inventory ID that we have just created to that's two okay then project I don't remember the project ID so what I will do is I will just check it okay my project ID is eight Once I will provide the project, I will be providing a playbook. And while providing a playbook, uh, as I have already provided my manual project, it's testing. So I can just define the playbook name, play.yml. And I can simply provide uh, one extra where is required over here. As we are, you know, making a local connection, so we have to tell the Ansible to make a local connection. 
otherwise it will not be able to connect via SSH. So to do that, we are defining an extra variable to the job template. So yeah. Here it is. So as I run it, so yes, it is being created. Let's see. Templates. So yeah, testing CLI has been created. Let's try to launch it from here. Uh, so currently my jobs are there is only one job run we can see with the IT8 and the demo job template is run. So we can simply again use hyphen hyphen help over here to see what all we can do. Right. So we can launch it, but how to find find out like what particular ID is there for the launch. So what I can do is I can just list hyphen f human format and just check. So currently my ID for testing CLI is being assigned as nine. So I will be using launch nine job templates. It has been launched. Let's look at the jobs. It is currently running and failing. <laughs> Let's look into it. Why it is failing. Okay, so SSH. That means our template, if we check it, our extra wares. Okay, so we did not get an extra wares. Seems like some typo is there or what? So let's look into the help section. So we have extra wares, right? Let's just copy it, maybe. Let's create another job template called CLI12. Okay, yeah, so we don't have to provide that colon. That might have created the issues. Otherwise, my sp there is no spelling mistake. So I'm creating one more job template. I'm going to list it. So as I can see, my template ID is 10 this time. Okay, so I will be launching the job with the, I'm launching the 10th job template ID. And when we check on the jobs, it is running. And yes, it is successful. You can see testing hyphen CLI, 12 it is. And this is AWX command line. Yep, got it. So, yep, this is pretty much it with the session. But yeah, the one important feature I was talking about that is regarding the import and export. So, for example, what I can do is what I have to do is I want to import something from Tower, right? I will get some help. What import does is import resources into the tower and export is export resources from the tower. So here we will be pulling that information from the tower. So we will be using a export hyphen hyphen help. Now what all resources you can export from the tower. Those are users, organizations, teams, credential type users, projects, inventories and all that. Currently what we will do is uh, we will use organizations. Okay, what I do is export organization to a test dot JSON file. We have to wait for a few seconds. Yeah, it is done. So if you just list this file, you can see a uh, JSON output has been provided for all the organization that are there on the AWX. Okay, so what I will do is I will go to the organization this time. As you can see, it's a testing CLI, right? So what I will do is I will delete this one. Right, it got deleted. Now, either you can, you know, move this to some different tower instance and, you know, restore the data over there. It can be used for multiple purposes as you have, you can see the resources. So let's do one thing as you can see there is no 
okay testing CLI you know organization is there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the file which we had just created and let's see object has node Oops, I guess I lost that data. Uh, okay, so that's how the you know uh, it happens <laughs> during the time of sessions only. Uh, so let's try to you know import something else now to just demonstrate this feature. Possibly job template. We can try with the job template. Let's just okay. So guys, I just came to know like due to mismatch version between the AWX which I had installed and the A uh, AWX GUI and the tool, I'm getting this error. So otherwise, the the way which I had showed that will work absolutely fine. You can try it, and if you're facing any issues, please let us know in the comment section, and we will help you out with that. So that's all for today's session um, if you have any questions feel free to you know put it in the comment section and i will be happy to help you over there thank you guys